Jaya Krishna Pristaya Bhutale Srimakti Bhakti Vedanta Swami Itinamine Namaste Saraswati Deve Gaudavani Pacharine Nirishesha Sunyavadi Pastyatya De Satarine Srila Prabhupada Ki Jaya Jaya Sri Krishna Chaitana Prabhunathananda Sri Advaita Gadadhar Sivasari Gauda Bhakta Vinda Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Ram Hare Ram 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 Hare Hare So I was a little bit taken by surprise. I didn't expect to speak this morning. But I'm happy I have the opportunity to on this most auspicious day, auspicious in the sense that when the spiritual master appears, his work is not known in, in the world, but when he disappears, and we honor him for all the activities, all the contributions, all the things he leaves behind in our life that becomes the essence of our focus in life in order to reach the goal of life which is Premu Pumartha Maha love of God disappearance Srila Prabhupada speaks about this himself appearance and disappearance is just like the rising and the setting of the sun the sun appears in our vision over the horizon at a certain time of the day and also departs our vision at a certain time and the sun seems to appear and disappear but there is no such thing as the sun appearing and disappearing the sun is always in its orbit somewhere in existence but from our vision it appears in that way so similarly the pure devotee spiritual master comes by the encouragement, the mission of the Lord to bring the message of the Lord which is pure devotional service to the fallen conditioned souls in this world. And so when they appear we don't really have that much understanding of the value of their presence. But when we, they disappear, then we feel great loss and great unhappiness. That unhappiness is our own unhappiness, as was brought out by, I think it was Srinachi, that when the Lord goes back, or great souls go, when the great souls go back, it's no loss for them. They actually again associate with Krishna or go somewhere else to do the same thing in some other place within the creation. But for us it's a great unhappiness because there's a sense of loss. But that sense of loss cannot, can actually be made up by understanding what is the mission of the spiritual master. Simply to teach us what he has come to give us. And what is that? A life of pure devotional service to Krishna, a chance to perfect our life and to go back home, back to Godhead. Every day we sing one prayer in glorification of the spiritual master. Chakshudan Diloye Janmi Janmi Prabhu Say Gibya Gyan Ride Prakasita. He opens my eyes with knowledge. We are sleeping, the conditioned soul is one who is sleeping in the idea that happiness can be found through the mind, through the senses, through material activities. This is called maya, or the illusionary energy, which creates this false sense of idea, which we, everyone in this material world pursues with great enthusiasm. So when this knowledge comes, it's like a light within this darkness of illusion to break us out of this foolishness and to help us understand where real happiness is and how to find that real happiness. 
And he teaches this knowledge by teaching us our identity. <laughs> this Divyagyan, Srila Prabhupada speaks about this also. What is this Divyagyan? This transcendental knowledge comes in various manifestations of its own essence. But the actual fundamental principle of this knowledge is that you're Krishna's eternal servant. That's all. <laughs> that is your identity. You have no other identity. Whatever other, other identity we accept, it's simply a temporary manifestation of coming into this material world and accepting a material body and acting in that way. It's like, it's like the seasons. They come and they go. So whatever identities we have, man, woman, black, white, this culture, that culture, this position, that position, there's so many varieties of manifestations of our temporary manifestations in this world but they're all temporary and they're all part of the illusionary energy. So this divgyan, it's the greatest gift to the human society. Why? Because it solves all problems. Whatever problems we're having can be found in, our, in the execution of our loving relationship to Krishna. It is completely destroyed by that process. So therefore we are not only grateful, but as was mentioned by the previous speakers, eternally grateful. Srila Prabhupada mentions in one purport in Srimad Bhagavatam in the fourth canto, he explains that sometimes a disciple will think, I should do something to pay back the debt that my spiritual master has given me. And that is important, it's necessary, it's laudable, it should be done. But then he goes on to say that that debt can never be paid. <laughs> and one should try to, but at the same time one should know that one can never pay that debt. And the explanation is that one thinks that I can pay back that debt, he becomes compared to a person who is on stage making jokes. In other words, a person who is just creating himself as a center of laughter. So that, Prabhupada wanted to illustrate that this gift of eternal life coming by way of pure devotional service is not only rare, but it is what we are looking for. It is our, the essence of everything that we aspire for in life can be found in pure devotional service. I'd like to just mention one story that is one of my favorite little pastimes that was written by and spoken by Shruti Kirti Prabhu in one of his books. Um, What's the difficulty? He writes so beautiful his own personal experiences with Srila Prabhupada. And he narrates so lovingly and so intimately his relationship with Srila Prabhupada that it just brings Prabhupada into our life in a very, very powerful way. But one of my favorite stories is, and it has a very powerful message to it. And Sruti Kirti Prabhu used to travel with Prabhupada in many places around the world. They would fly on airplanes together. And they were coming into one place and the devotees had gathered into the airport to greet Srila Prabhupada. And it was a tumultuous welcoming. So many, many, many devotees had come and there was a kirtan. And many new people had come who had never saw Prabhupada before and were so eager to meet the Guru after hearing from the devotees. It was quite ecstatic and very emotional. When Prabhupada appeared, it explains by Shruti Kirti that the people were crying. Some were actually rolling on the ground. It was a combination of emotions from different angles. It was so, so 
joyous. And Shruti Kirti Prabhu was seeing this situation and in his mind he was thinking, wow, these devotees, these persons have so much affection and attraction for Prabhupada. I don't have that. <laughs> but he didn't say something. He just said it and he kept it into his heart. So later on he went with Prabhupada to where Prabhupada was staying and he was doing his personal service, arranging his breakfast and giving him his massage. And while he was massaging Prabhupada, he had to ask that question. He said, Srila Prabhupada, when we came into the airport today, I saw the devotees, they had so much affection, so much love for you, so much feeling. I'm your, I'm always with you, and I don't have that feeling. He wanted some consolation to the feeling of his heart, how he didn't feel like that. And Prabhupada just said, Prabhupada didn't say anything. Prabhupada remained quiet. And then he finished his massage, and Prabhupada took his bath, and the lunch prasadam was prepared. And Prabhupada was more quiet than normal. Usually he would speak about different things. And Shruti Kirti Prabhu was thinking, maybe I shouldn't have asked that question. But finally, uh, Prabhupada took his lunch, and then Shruti Kirti came in to take the, the plate away. And when he came in to offer his obeisances, Prabhupada said to him, Do you like your service? And Shruti Kirti Prabhu said, Oh, yes, Prabhupada, I like my service a lot. He, he expressed his, his gratitude and his appreciation for having this service. Prabhupada said, that is love. That is love. <laughs> that not to minimize the expressions that we have towards Prabhupada, in glorification but without the service attitude they remain external they remain external so the real expression of our appreciation for Prabhupada is to take his instructions to heart and make our life one of devotional service to, Sh to the Supreme Personality of Godhead following Srila Prabhupada's instructions thank you very much thank you.